Hello, welcome to my experiment of pumping the engine oil out of my 1.2 PureTech PSA Peugeot Citroen engine from my 208 to 2020 model year, pumping it out through the dipstick tube. So let's have a look, just remove the dipstick and uh, check the quality of the oil. I've wiped it a few times, you can see it's a little bit dirty. It's probably 3,000 miles old, maybe. Anyway, so let's pop that somewhere clean because I don't want to get that contaminated at all. And I'm going to pick up the Peeler fuel pump, the uh, oil pump. So this is the oil pump removal tool. <coughs> and, oh, and you take the end and you poke it in there and you now on this car it isn't a recommended way of removing the oil on my Citroen C6 with the 3 litre V6 petrol engine it is actually the recommended way to extract the oil from your engine when you're doing an oil change now what I've just done there is I've fed the tube the suction tube down to the bottom of there I'm not pressing too hard and just feel the bottom I'll withdraw it just a moment just a millimeter or two before I start pumping now I bought this pump first of all for my smart roadster coupe because it has no sump plug and this is the only way to do it right so I'm just gonna start pumping here on the tube and we should see some oil yeah okay yeah I've got oil coming down here now you probably saw that Way back, and you'll see it shortly flowing down here. So you see the slightly darker bit down there. Anyway, that is flowing, so that's great news. Now, um, one of the reasons you might want to do this is because your pure tech engine car might have an under tray, and if you have an under tray, it's a pain in the neck to get to the sump plug. You have to put the car on a lift or something and, and then of course if you're changing the sump plug you've got to change the sump plug washer uh, of course while you're down there you'll want to change the oil filter but of course if you're only doing an intermediate oil change because you're interested in the integrity of your can belt your can belt that is in dipped in the engine oil and they are prone to failure and it seems to me the main cause of failure is old oil. Now when I say old oil I don't necessarily mean that it's old just that it's degraded perhaps by short journeys causing too much moisture to come through into the oil and maybe make the oil a bit acidic. Anyway right. I'll just pump that occasionally just to keep the low pressure in the bulb of the pump to keep it sucking the oil out. Now I don't know how much oil I'm going to get out this time and uh, what I'm going to do is that in the title of this video I'm going to say um, 75 percent oil change or 78 percent oil change or whatever that percentage of the oil that I've worked out that I've actually changed I'm not going to change the oil filter so there will be a certain amount of oil left in the filter and left in the engine and I don't know how far down into the sump this goes either so really this is just a way of diluting out your old oil with new fresh oil so uh, anyway you'll uh, see that in a bit so of course other engines are designed to do it this way like I said the Citroen C6 and the smart range of cars the uh, classic smarts with the three cylinder 700cc engine in particular probably I don't know about the newer ones but it's a great way of doing your oil change on the smart it was very easy to extract change the filter there was no under tray and the filter was almost sticking out the back of the car so it was easy to do the whole job but uh, anyway let's see if we can how much we can see at the bottom of there so we're getting a little bit there it takes a little while I'm not hearing any oil noise some once you're getting low because you've extracted most of the oil you'll hear kind of suction like that noises where it's 
it's sucking up air as well as the oil and I'm not getting that yet so uh, we'll see what happens so the point like I say the point of this is to stop your cam belt getting ruined so um, what I'll do at the end is I'll just experiment with the height of this suction hose in the sump in the engine down the dipstick tube just to see if if there's uh, any little bits left to be taken out but what you don't want to do is deflect the bottom of the hose around like that you want the bottom of the hose to be hitting almost just the bottom of the sump just to get the last little bits out so uh, right well there's no real need me to keep filming now. The uh, relevant information will be in the description to this video and, uh, and in the title. So do have a look at that and uh, do comment. Thank you for watching.